quick tip for rocker panels fluid film and you can buy this uh, comes in a kit you can actually get three cans of fluid film and this little spray nozzle that's uh, 24 inch length and it's got a uh, few different nozzles on the end of it to get into tight places so what you do This will work for pretty much any truck nowadays. The rocker panels, they rot out from the inside out. This stuff will preserve it and prolong it. So what you do is you can swap over this regular cap, pop this puppy on here. And now, just show you. How it comes out of the end here. See how that squirts out in a nice big mist pattern? So what you do, yeah, lay on the ground. We have our rocker panels here, okay? As you can see, many different trucks are gonna have access holes. Got holes all along the bottom, okay? And sometimes up inside here, Access hole here, access hole here. There's a little rubber plug right here that you could pull out to get more access. Another one there. So the, the idea is to spray this all inside this whole rocker panel. So that will uh, prolong it from rotting out. I'm sure it's already started to rust in there. So what you can do is take this little nozzle and start going in this way first. Bring it to the end and then you spray it and slowly pull the hose out. Flip it around. over the other way and don't be shy gonna want a pretty pretty nice coating of this stuff Okay, just work your way down the rocker. See it's starting to drip out. That's good. That means we've got a good coverage in there. I'm going to finish this up through the bottom here.
All right, did about a full can or three quarters of a can per side. It's the first time I ever did it on this truck. Um, and then I'm gonna use the remainder, the remainder of the can just to spray this, uh, the underside. Depending on where you live and how messy of a road situation you have, this is something you're going to want to do at least once a year, maybe even twice a year. And uh, this stuff is really good for preventing rust. About 10 bucks a can for this stuff, but money well spent. kind of spray anything down here these newer uh, GMC's and Chevy's now have a box frame as well so it's a good idea I'm gonna probably pick up a couple more cans and do the same thing I just did with the rockers but I'm gonna do it on the inside of the frame there's access holes throughout the frame really get a good coating all on the inside because that's where these things rust out is the inside out I'm gonna go ahead and hit the other side now really no reason to video videotape that but it was $29 for this nozzle and three cans of this on Amazon shipped to the house I think it took a day or two to get great thing to do if you uh, if you think of it especially right before winter so prevent the salt from getting in uh, eating away from your your, uh, your metal and your frame and nobody nobody likes replacing rocker panels so All right, first dump. Down she went. Came out kind of clean. This is what I was talking about though. See how these hooks kind of jam up some of the material. Not a big deal, but it is kind of a pain in the neck to have to deal with. A lot smarter of an idea is to put them up here but I guess uh, depending on how the structure of the dump trailer is may not be strong enough there to to have tie downs also uh, it just rained about an hour ago so of course everything's soaking wet this dump is a little bit on the slow side slower than I'd like but I'd rather it be slow and powerful than fast and not be able to lift a load. I'm pretty sure that's why it takes as long as it does. Higher pressure, lower volume. But yeah, you're certainly not going to win any dump speed races, that's for sure. Another hot, humid day here on the Cape. Supposed to be about 85 and like 80% humidity, so that's considered oppressive. In other words, hot. 
uncomfortable. I know there's way worse parts of the country. So, this kind of sucks. If they put these doors the other direction for these ramps, it wouldn't collect all this debris here. And shit gets jammed in there. It's kind of a crappy design. Not super happy about that. And then what happens when you put the dump up, these uh, ramps slide out a little bit. And then that causes this to, jeez, uh... why does this not want to shut? What is in the way? Yeah, definitely not a big fan of that design. That's just the way it is. So yeah, you can see how it's open here and dirt and stuff is getting in on the lights and all of this stuff. Like this one here. That's a pain in the ass to have to deal with every time to try to come up with a solution of that. <laughs> Maybe a little rubber flap or something across there. I'm not happy with that at all. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, it may not be may not be as bad once the uh, materials are drier. you for leverage or uh, extra reach all right go back and uh, grab the Bobcat off the job actually parked it at my house last night because it was just a few doors down from where we did that job yesterday and uh, I knew I had to come down here anyways to grab the trailer so gonna go uh, Pick that up and bring it back down to the shop. <laughs>